Hi everyone, it's Tatiana. Welcome to my channel where I show you guys my journey of being a plant mama. I want to show you guys some new plants today that I got at local nurseries in Delaware. These are my April slash beginning of May plant hauls. The first plant I want to show you guys is this Red Tango Begonia Rex. I got this at Lord's Landscaping in Melville, Delaware, I believe. This was, I want to say either four or six dollars. I could not tell you. It was one of those. And it is just so gorgeous. I have fallen in love with Begonia Rexes. They have the most stunning leaves, like, ever. So many vibrant colors, burgundies, purples, maroons, golds, all of that. And I just thought these would bring a nice pop of color to my apartment because I don't have any plants like this. And I absolutely love it and I love the leaves. Look at that. And look at the under leaves. Just so pretty. I'm obsessed. Love this plant. The next one that I picked out because half of these my boyfriend picked out is this. Oh my god, and I just saw that it's... Okay, I have to try to propagate this because this just fell off of this plant. I'm going to stick it in the soil and hopefully it'll grow. This is a variegated purple heart plant. I think the scientific name is Tradescantia polita or something like that. I'll show it. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it is variegated and it's just so gorgeous. These like pink, purple stripes on the leaves. As soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it. They had some that weren't variegated, which I used to have these in my childhood home in Florida growing outside. And I saw this and it just reminded me of that. And then I saw they were variegated and I was like, oh my goodness. I've already had blooms coming. You can kind of see this little purple flower here. Ugh, and I just think it's so beautiful. And again, another pop of color. This piece just fell out. I had a piece too when I was buying it. I also got this one at Lord's Landscaping. I believe this one was, again, either four or six dollars. One of these was four and one of these was six. So... I can't really remember which was which. I had a piece that had fallen out when I was getting it and I stuck it back in and that one is one that's blooming. So I think it's growing the roots. I'm gonna keep this moist here too for this other piece that fell and hopefully that will go. But it has already grown so much in the past few weeks that I got it. So I am just obsessed with this plant and obsessed with the color. The last one of my picks, which is from another local nursery called Windsor's Windsor's uh, flowers trees and shrubs I wrote them. yeah Windsor's flowers plants and shrubs and this just came out of course and that's in Rehoboth Beach Delaware that I got this one this one was five bucks and this is a butterfly arrowhead it didn't come with a a tag when I got it but the guy at the greenhouse told me that it's commonly known as a butterfly plant an arrowhead by a lot of other things and it does look a little I'm not sure if this is like a little crispy looking the leaves are a little yellow but it has this like pink variegation going on and this like deeper green on the newer leaves and I just thought it was so pretty I have to repot all of these by the way none of these have been repotted but I just want to show you guys what I got it's got a lot of Kind of things going on in the stem I thought it was really full and super gorgeous and I saw the pink and it reminded me of one of the plants that I see a lot of that's like the pink splash syngonium this is the syngonium that is popular so I just really liked it and thought it was unique and I hadn't seen anything like it before so picked it out now moving on to the plants my boyfriend picked out Edward do you want to participate okay he's busy Maybe he'll make an appearance later, but these were the first plants that he's ever picked out and When he got them he was like well, they're like basically yours because I'm not gonna take care of them And then as soon as he gets a compliment on them or anything. He's like well, they're mine And I'm like, okay, so first of all, we've got a little Venus flytrap So this one was also from Lord's landscaping in Delaware. This was seven bucks by the way 
There is literally a dead fly in this right now. I noticed it the other day. We saw that it had a little fly in it actually on the Venus fly trap and what are we supposed to do with them? I'm in a debate with my boyfriend. Do we leave them or do we take them out? He says it's natural and we should leave them. I just think it's kind of gross and I want to take it out. So let us know if you have Venus fly traps what we should be doing with this but we definitely need to repot that. I'm hoping it helps kill some pests I have in here too if I saw that it had the fly in there but it's cute. So that's the first one he picked. He's got a very exotic taste. The next plant he picked out for this was also five dollars from Lord's Landscaping is this cute little pre bonsai tree. We also got a bonsai pot that we're gonna plant it in but this is just so freaking cute. It's so little. I love it so much. This is the one that we're probably going to debate about whose it is because I have heard bonsais are very tricky and hard to take care of and I said, are you ready for this? And I don't think he is. So we'll see how much I have to step in and provide care for this plant. But it is just so freaking cute and I don't know if a specific type of tree this is it was just labeled as a pre bonsai so if anyone knows what this is definitely let me know in the comments and the last one this was our joint pick so this is our relationship joint plant so this is a mix of different polka dot plants and this was six dollars also from Lord's Landscaping I love that place. You should check it out if you're in the area. It's so great. They have so many plants and everyone there is super nice, super friendly, and they have really cute ceramic pots too. So this had all the different colors that we saw that they had available in this plant. I made sure that we got one that had them all because I was like, we can divide it into different plants when it starts to grow and have all the different colors and it's just so fun and vibrant. I just wanted a lot of vibrant things now for spring. So we've got the light pink, the darker pink, the pink and green, the white and green, the red and green, just all mixed up in here as a big party. And I also want to have a special shout out for my boyfriend's mom for Mother's Day. We got her two plants also at the nurseries. I have some pictures so I'll add them here, but one of them is a begonia rex just kind of similar to this one with different color she said she liked this one when she saw it so we got her a different color of that and then another one that i'm totally forgetting the name of uh a coleus plant perhaps i'll put the scientific name here because i took a picture of it but really beautiful vibrant colors just in time for spring and summer all right thanks so much for watching let me know which one of these of the new plants is your favorite and what plants you've been getting that are super colorful for spring. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!